And it's the next thing, and I left this stuff up. Because there's some weird stuff coming up. Um, but light has energy, and we ought to be able to describe some more stuff about where uh, where the light is going. Does it have momentum? Does it, uh, you know, is there other things that we can talk about here? And so I'm going to leave this side up for a bit. So, I'm just going to define things. You uh, just have to trust that they make sense. This is a thing, it's called the pointing vector. P-O-Y-N-T-I-N-G, pointing vector. Um, and it's just defined. S vector is 1 over mu naught. The electric field crossed with the magnetic field. And the cross here means you have to do right hand rule. If you have electric field going upwards and you have magnetic field coming out of the board, this is a perspective drawing, then you should have perpendicular to both this pointing vector. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty good for a definition, but what the heck is this? Well, if we go through the units and check on it, you eventually come out that this is the intensity of light. The idea is that the light's coming from some source. This is the direction the light is going. The electric and the magnetic fields are perpendicular to the velocity. They're perpendicular to this thing. And this thing is a function of the energy density. In this case, you have S is going to be power per unit area. And well, the power is the energy that can be delivered over some time. So energy over area times time. So the energy here is something like um, the energy density times the volume over and down here. Well, this wave is moving something like this. The distance it covers is going to be the speed of light times time. So we can replace this time here with A times x over c. But the area times x, that's the volume. Right? The idea is that we're boxing this thing in to a box like this. And area is here and x is here. So these things cancel out. And then we're left with the energy density times the speed of light. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Now, having to define this is kind of weird. It comes up in other places. But I left all this up so that you have it in front of you. And this is the bit that I want to go through and point out. Everything I'm putting in boxes is the important bits. Those are the things you need to know to basically do the homework, have success with it. Um, that's the stuff I teach the other classes. And that's basically it. This is kind of a short video. Um, all right, I mean, I, I spent a lot of time talking about other stuff, but a lot of this stuff, it's a wave, and you can deal with it. It makes, it'll make some sense. 
So I do have one more thing, and that is, does light have momentum? So we'll just take that away, and we'll just define here. There's our definition for momentum. Light does have momentum. Now, you can go through and ask, well, what, what do I mean by uh, these things? Well, okay, so say I have some surface. All right, I have some surface. I want to have light coming in on it. The total light that hits it is going to be based on the power. And then so the energy, so I should be careful here, power over area. So power is S A times T. But we can figure out the, the intensity it hits here and all sorts of other stuff going on. And now the momentum here is going to look like S times A times T over C. Well, the momentum is going to look like S over C is the energy density. So we have some energy hitting this thing on some area over some time. So, light has some momentum, you can derive it, it's not hugely important to derive it. It's more of, um, you could do interesting stuff with it. Um, in astronomy, we talk about how there's no dust in the solar system. Right? Is the sun shines and light travels out everywhere, and anything of a certain size or smaller gets pushed around by light. It gets pushed outwards, it gets pulled inwards because the light hits it on one side and leaves in all directions. And so it's pushed toward the sun. So dust gets pushed around, little small particles of stuff. Big things like planets don't. Um, in physics, uh, the thing that often comes up is the idea of a solar cell. A sail, S-A-I-L, which is, here's the sun, Here is a thing you want to push, and you just let light hit it and give it some momentum. And you make it reflective so that you have the light going this way and then traveling back. That imparts twice as much momentum as if it was just absorbed. So there's some interesting stuff here, but everything that's in boxes is the stuff you need. All right, that's enough.